another tutorial in 3ds max uh, this time um, I'll do a, a spline cage of a skull the first step is to get um, the background uh, pictures on plane objects make a rough outline of the uh, side and in front of the uh, skull and fuse the two uh, points uh, at top at the top and I'll just show you uh, going to a line and the drag type should be corner because uh, we're just making a rough outline like this and in vertex mode you can, you can um, move the points around if it ever uh, goes to smooth mode like that just right click it and you can get back to corner mode because all we need is a rough outline and I'll show you how to uh, just make a quick copy of the uh, of the eye the rough outline of the eye and I'll show you um, after you fuse the points together go to fuse now when you click one of them uh, the other one doesn't move at the same time so if you want uh, two points that are fused together uh, to move just go to area area check area selection and now you can move uh, both points at the same time so um, delete that and go to my original um, uh, I points and now these points have to uh, in the side viewport and in the front viewport um, be uh, uh, shaped and that's not really too hard to do but it brings out the you want it to curve around the skull and these two uh, endpoints will uh, fuse and then we'll uh, expand it let's start um, adding more geometry to the eye area. We'll go to, to connect, uh, refine uh, to connect lines between two points and then uh, just to refine uncheck connect and we'll put a, a point in the middle and then just move it up and we need one below but we'll point, we'll um, maybe add some uh, points to this one go to the front uh, viewport and there's going to be uh, extra points on the on the inner circle as well go back to connect refine and make another connection there put a point in the middle and drag it down so you, you see where uh, we're going to 
connect all the dots basically. And let's uh, make sure it's back on corner because we just want a rough outline. And uh, in the side and front viewports, you move the points so that uh, uh, they're flowing outward. In the side side viewport, they'll actually stretch. Okay, we've connected all the dots, and we now have two rings of uh, segments and points. Uh, let's put a skin on it, uh, a surface a surface modifier. Sometimes you'll need to uh, flip the normals uh, to see it. Uh, toggle the end result uh, button there. And uh, whatever is, um, see right here it's not showing anything because there's five points. You've got to have three or four point uh, faces or uh, polys. Okay, have I, have I, I've finish the top of the head here. All the uh, faces and polygons are three point or four point. Okay, we'll uh, connect the uh, points from the front of the face uh, to the side. And we'll fuse those two points there. And we'll make a curve and we'll just add more points and start connecting using ref, ref, Refine Connect. And here I've got it all finished. Uh, the lines, you can see the lines get tighter uh, The where this is going to curve. You can see here. Okay, here I have added uh, a little more uh, geometry uh, for the teeth and for the space. We'll go to see through this space area that separates the jaw from the rest of the skull. In the side viewport, we'll make a rough outline of the back of the skull and we'll connect uh, that point there so we can do the top half of the skull. We've got a starting point there. And here it's just basically using Refine uh, Connect to uh, to add the lines uh, to the dots. And here it's all finished. And the bottom of the skull is basically the same thing. Uh, making everything nice and uh, uh, curved and tight. Okay, um, we want the uh, eyebrow area uh, to come out. Uh, the points will be pulled out there and uh, the teeth uh, pushed in a little bit. Uh, add a tur turbo smooth uh, modifier and we'll zoom in here and you can see uh, the cheekbone and the, the brow. Okay, now we can uh, collapse everything and convert it to uh, editable uh, poly and go to polygon uh, mode and we'll delete this space area. We need to make a mirror copy. Uh, after you click the mirror uh, button and attach the two halves together. Uh, go to vertex mode and all the points in the middle have to be welded because they have, you don't want two points in the same spot. 
Okay, let select all the polys for the jaw area and detach. Click the de detach button, detach to element, and we'll bring the lower jaw down just a bit. Add a uh, shell modifier to the stack uh, and increase the inner amount just a bit to add some thickness. Add a edit poly uh, modifier above the shell and select the teeth and we'll uh, extrude them out just a bit. And then we'll add a uh, triple smooth uh, modifier and step it up uh, three times here. Make it nice and smooth. Things are looking uh, the way we want it to look. To render the scene, uh, the scene I just put a uh, material onto the skull, made the diffuse white, and for the render uh, background uh, gray, automatic exposure control, and that's the render. You can read this tutorial on my website, so um, uh, check it out.